Hello guys, this is Adam and here the M5 MacBook Pro 16 inch, the M5 chip with the GPU with the 10 cores and here we have the Snapdragon X Plus and we are using Vulkan. I will be testing both Vulkan and OpenGL uh, as well so we will start with Vulkan first. So we're gonna start with the Junkyard project. The first run is the kernel run so we will not count that and then we will start counting it from the second. So here we're gonna render as as well so we are rendering on both this took 16 seconds 0.88 so 17 seconds roughly for this one right here and that's for the junkyard project that's the first run and as I said the first run would not be counted to support it and then GPU compute performance we are on the GPU and then go ahead and render so we will render that this is still rendering and again this is building the kernel so that's completely normal this is the very first time and both machines are actually connected to power so there is that so Snapdragon X a plus with Vulkan it did a crash and it did not finish the render I would say this is a probably an error that happened somewhere just because of the new software and such and task for a blender I'm gonna go ahead and open the junk shop then I'm gonna go to settings preferences it's Vulkan and then here I would do supported it's acting very weird when I choose supported it does not go to cycles and it's cutting and acting very weird right here I'm not sure what's going on I'm just gonna go ahead and render again and hopefully this time it will just render as it should and I am making sure that the power is connected as well so if you can see here at the bottom it is charging so it did a crash again as it seems with Snapdragon X Plus there is an issue with uh, a blender so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna restart the machine and if it crashes again then I'm just gonna use OpenGL and then depend on GL because I have tested OpenGL before and OpenGL did not give me any issues and we are here so I'm gonna go to edit I do have preferences with preferences I do have Vulkan set and then I'm not gonna change I'm gonna leave future set as experimental maybe that would be the reason and let's see if this time actually works and uh, just give us what we need okay so it did a crash again and I'm not gonna bother with it anymore. What? Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, no, it did a crash. Test, so a restart is uh, of a blender is required. Okay, so restart of a blender, there you go. So we did, and let's go to edit preferences. Okay, it's at OpenGL. I'm gonna use supported, and we do have cycles. Let's go ahead and do a quick render and see if OpenGL works. Now, after this, I will definitely restart the whole machine. Can actually get an accurate. Yep. This is working, OpenGL is working, Vulkan is causing issues with Snapdragon X Plus, so that is something for you to be mindful of. Restart the whole machine and then we will do the test again just to be safe. Okay, so it's turned on again. We're gonna go ahead, do two runs. So we're gonna just open that, go to edit, preferences, we are at OpenGL. And then here we have supported GPU compute. And then we're gonna go ahead and render. Now keep it. So here we got 16 seconds, 0.63, and that is on the M5. And for the Snapdragon X Plus, it took one minute and 15 seconds. The M5 is way faster than the Snapdragon. Dragon. However, I would consider that's the corner run. Double check in the settings. The settings are correct. And I'm going to go one more render. And this render should be the actual render. And we should be getting a better results than 1 minute and 15 seconds. If so the Snapdragon X Plus is done now. And it took 1 minute and 15 seconds. And that's after the corner run. So basically, the time for this machine is 1 minute and 15 seconds. There is nothing that we can do about it. And that's the results that we are getting. So definitely, the unfortunate is way faster than the Snapdragon X Plus so there is that now we're gonna go ahead and try another project and that other project would be EV and we're gonna do that here on the M5 as well now for the M5 typically it's in the realm of 11 seconds however here for our friend the Snapdragon X Plus we don't know really so just making sure that we are on OpenGL and then we're gonna go ahead and render now the first render we, we wouldn't count it because it's the kernel render 
and then from the second run we will be going and then seeing what we get so now I have both machines are running the same project and we will see what we get so the M5 is done and as I said it would take roughly around 11 seconds so right now we're looking at 11.77 X plus is still running it has been more than a few minutes to the points where literally the monitor went to sleep and even though it's connected to the power I have waited long enough and I'm um, just it's not doing anything there is no comparison and if you want to use a blender with a snapdragon type of device or laptop i do not recommend it at all because it's it is filled with issues and it's really hard to measure the performance and i never had issues for example with the lenovo laptop or the other hp victus laptop or even when i made a comparison for the desktop 5060 and then the 3090 ti not have any issues in that regard and i didn't have those issues with the mac as well if anything the mac was a performance just fine this machine is not it as much as it's a beautiful machine and I love it and I was really close of getting one for myself where I would be using it permanently with it not being able to be a 3d device this machine might not be it if you are a more of a 3d user such as a blender or whatever that might be I would recommend the Mac instead